Hello everyone, Brett Kelly here again at 45 Drives. Today we are talking about our Proxinator product. We're doing a deeper dive and um, well, let's get into it. The newest product line on the 45 Drives Enterprise side is the Proxinator. Not the first time we talked about this, but it's the first time we're doing a deeper dive in it. So what I have in front of me right now is the VM8 option of this. We have two options. We have the VM8 and the VM16. Name's pretty self-explanatory. The 8 holds 8 NVMe drives, or SATA or SAS, and the 16 holds, well, 16 of them. But we don't stop there. We're not just, this, this is what's cool about this. It's not just a storage product this time. It's, it's kind of the all-in-one. Um, and I'll get to what it's useful for when it, but I just want to walk you through the pieces, right? So let's start with the storage, near and dear to my heart. Uh, we took the same bones and the same um, architecture that we built into our NVMe F2 storage server, and we've utilized it again here in this VM8 and VM16. So we've got the 8 and the 16 variation. Again, UBM, so it supports NVMe, SATA, and SAS, and you can get it in the 8 or the 16 variation. We've got the same high power compute platform. We can get a high core density, high memory density, so you can run uh, virtual machines or whatever computing um, workload that you have. And fun new stuff, uh, so native support for uh, GPUs. We've never really had this in any of the 45 drives products. They've always been storage products. So what kind of GPUs can we put in this? Um, in the front compartment here, we have built and supported the ability to uh, put full size, full height, 10 and a half or more up to 12 inch depth graphics cards. Right now in this machine, I have an NVIDIA L40, which we have been using to, uh, our, our sister company, Protocase, has been using for, actually, I'll tell you later in the what it's useful part. But so a big L40, you can put a large graphics card in here. In the front end, actually, you can also have half height, half length cards if you want to use that as well. Um, in the front here, I have two NVIDIA L4s plugged in next to uh, the network interfaces and the, and the hard drive interface. So what is the VM8, the VM16, the new Proxinator product? It's a little bit of everything. It's storage, it's GPU compute, and a bunch of CPU compute and memory. Okay, so a new hardware platform, that's great, but it's a good hardware platform is only as useful as the software and, and solution you build on top of it. So what is the use case for something like this? Well. Uh, it's kind of in the name, uh, the Proxinator. It's built to be used with Proxmox, with Ceph or ZFS, and it's best used in a hyper-converged infrastructure. Utilizing Proxmox as a awesome open source virtualization, virtual network management layer, um, the Ceph storage solution, which we all know and love, and, um, and an awesome platform like this, you can get uh, high-speed storage, high compute, high GPU, and a nice management layer on top of it. So you can get your own open source, flexible, modular, big, strong, fast, hyper-converged infrastructure. Built that out of a couple Proxmox nodes. That's what this thing's really useful for. Okay, so that's its intended use, right? It's a good hardware platform. You put Proxmox, Ceph, combine these, you got a good HCI infra infrastructure. Um, that was redundant, hyper-converged infrastructure, fun. Um, and the next question, kind of a little philosophy, why did we decide to build this? We've always traditionally just kind of been a storage company. Well, we want to expand, we want to give more. But also, the bigger thing was, is most people are aware in this world of the kind of corporate pen stroke of when Broadcom acquired VMware, and it caused a bit of chaos in this industry. A lot of fear, a lot of unknown. Um, again, VMware, solid product, but that's that fear of the legacy, right? one corporate pen stroke and things move around. So um, that inflexibility or the vendor lock-in of maybe all of a sudden you're somewhere else, uh, that just didn't sit well with a lot of people. And Proxmox has been around for a long time. A lot of people using Proxmox, a lot of big new interest in Proxmox. Um, and we wanted to give a platform that supported the idea of what you could get with VMware and vSAN um, and have it all supported all in one. So the Proxinator, we are partnered with Proxmox, um, the company, to sell Proxmox VE, the virtualization environment. We support it, we love it, we build around it. And why we did this? We wanted to give the market a solid, open source, flexible 
no lock-in system that's purpose-built to run Proxmox, Ceph, and just give you that hyper-convergent infrastructure. Between the, or from the fast storage to the fast compute and everything here, we're just really excited to have um, the Proxinator available to the public. Okay, so that's a little bit of what is it, what's it for, why we did it, the Proxinator, new product line from 45 drives, the VM8 and the VM16 variations. You have some flexibility on what CPU and what compute you put in the front end, obviously with the GPUs as well too. For more detail of what the full list of your options are, go check it out at 45drives.com. We've got a page dedicated to this. Um, we're quoting, we're selling, talk to us. We can't wait to get these in your guys' hand. So with all that said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.